Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we have the iPad 2018 6th generation. Let's see how it compares to the newer iPads these days and how does the price gap help us choose the right one. Right off the bat, it has got a 9.7 inch retina display with some amazing viewing angles. Now this iPad has got a peak brightness of around 500 nits which compared to the newer generation iPad is the same but compared to the iPad Pros and the iPad Air is slightly lesser. So the only change which we can really point out would be the 9.7 inch retina display on this iPad and the 10.2 retina display on the newer generation that is the 7th generation iPad. This iPad weighs about 500 grams which is really easy to hold. So on the bottom of the iPad we have the lightning connector and the speaker grill. On the top there is the power button and the 3.5mm audio jack. On the right we have uh, the volume rocker and on the left uh, there are no buttons. So the camera is an 8 megapixel shooter which is similar to the newer iPad. Though I don't expect you to take pictures with this camera. Let's look at some document scanning and how it performs. So document scanning can be done directly through the notes app which is very easy and very accurate. You can save this directly to the note which you are writing. I can safely say that there is no difference between the camera of the 6th generation iPad and the 7th generation iPad. With no visible changes in design on the outside, the chipset is exactly the same compared to the 7th generation iPad which is the A10 Fusion. It also has 2GB of RAM. On top of that, there are three color variants which is the gold, the space grey and the silver. It comes in two storage options which is 32GB and 128GB. In this video, I have used the space grey and the gold iPad colors. This iPad including the newer iPad both support Apple Pencil Generation 1 though I don't do too much drawing but taking notes and writing on this iPad is very easy. It is fluid, it almost feels like writing on a paper. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a separate video on the Apple Pencil. Going on to battery life, the battery life on the iPad is rock solid. Apple says the battery life lasts about 10 hours. For me, I would say it lasts about 2 days with uh, a little bit of social media, a little bit of videos, some writing, taking notes. Overall, it's been really good. I miss the fast charging though. For such a big battery, it takes a very long time to charge. Apple should have included a fast charger. The iPad comes in two variants, one is a Wi-Fi only and a Wi-Fi plus 4G or a GSM connectivity. Now the iPads which I have used in this video, both are Wi-Fi only models. With the unveiling of the iPad OS, the iPads have got a significant jump compared to the other competitors in the market. So I would not prefer an iPad to a computer but the iPads are inching towards replacing the computers. Talking about computers, this iPad has got Bluetooth keyboard support only. It does not have the smart keyboard support which the 7th generation has. That's all I have on the iPad. Thanks for watching. Please press the like button if you like the video. Please subscribe and press the bell icon.